All right, guys, Ranger 350V. Um, I already have most of the transom cut out. You'll see that in the video. I started this video a little bit late um, in the process because I just decided I should go over what we're doing. I got the transom cut out. We have most of the boat apart, but I'm gonna try and do this in steps and break it up into a bunch of videos and make a little series just for this boat, um, step by step. So we'll go from there. So if you want to follow that, like and subscribe so you get the notifications. I'm going to make a full playlist. We're going to put a motor on. We're going to do the trance and we're going to paint the whole boat um, and basically re-carpet everything, deck it. We're going to get a, a new gas motor for this, but we're also going to do the Minn Kota, some up-to-date electronics and, and try and just get this boat cleaned up. We're not going to go super crazy. We're not looking for perfect, but uh, you know, we're going to make it nice again. It's still a pretty cool boat. Uh, we got it for pretty cheap. Drove down to Virginia to get it. Um, so yeah, just like and subscribe so you can see the next series in the videos, next videos in the series, um, and then we'll go from there. Thanks, guys. Right about now, the funk soul brother. Check it out now, the funk soul brother. Right about now, the funk soul brother. Check it out now, the funk soul brother. Right about now, the funk soul brother. Check it out now, the funk soul brother. Right about now. Funk soul brother, check it out now. The funk soul brother, right about now. The funk soul brother, check it out now. The funk soul brother, right about now. The funk soul brother, right about now. About now. About now. About now. So this is like a super pain in the butt, getting all this wood out from in here and the sides and taking everything off. But in here is like super duper hard. Um, but I got the silliest tool ever. I got a Harbor Freight 10 inch electric chainsaw. I was gonna get a plug-in one, but they didn't have a plug-in one. Um, so I had to get a battery one. So we got the battery powered one. We're gonna try this and see if this is any better than what I've been using, cause it sucks. kind of well honestly definitely better than some of the other stuff but let's keep them <laughs>
Definitely not what you want inside the chainsaw.
All right, so this is working pretty good, actually. Way better than I thought it would. Um, I don't know, it's really not bad. Getting pretty much everything I need done. I wasn't planning to go through this completely, but I did, and I think that's gonna be fine because I'm gonna shove my Kusa board in there now and actually give the transom a little bit more strength, and then I can really get some fiberglass epoxy or, or two-part epoxy, whatever whatever I'm gonna do in there. I just gotta clean up these sides and then I think we're ready for the Kusa board. Chainsaw problem. Hop the chain off. Uh, I don't know why. Practicing abusing it. Low kickback, but it doesn't say low kick off. Probably should have cleaned it up before I put it back on, but YOLO.
Make sure you wear safety glasses to really protect your eyes. I guess I need safety glasses. I never even charged this. Um, I just pulled it out of the box and used it. And I don't know what's it been 21 minutes of me hacking away at this. And honestly, this wasn't supposed to be a uh, Harbor Freight chainsaw review, but this thing kind of kicks ass. Honestly, I mean, it's not bad. I mean, it's sixty dollars, so still going. Um, I'm gonna vacuum this stuff out and. Put this battery on the charger. It's, it's pretty well dead now. Um, and clean up a little bit with the multi tool. See what happens. Right about now, the funk soul rubber. Check it out now, the funk soul rubber. Right about now, the funk soul rubber. Check it out now, the funk soul rubber. Right about now, about now, about now. We got a bunch of sanded. Um, we're still getting everything sanded. All the carpets off. Uh, we're just trying to figure out the best way to get this piece of aluminum off. I, I don't really feel like drilling everything out because there's a bunch of flathead screws. So I might try and unbolt it from the inside. I'm not sure yet. But I'm gonna get this up, sand everything down, get it recarpeted. I ordered the carpet last night. Uh, so we're waiting on that and then the stickers and then hopefully we're gonna get the painting soon. Uh, within the next couple days. Um, so just stay posted on that, guys. Thanks.